In this video, I'm going to discuss a couple things that I think you guys will find very informative and very helpful for when you're starting your residential assisted living facility. So if you're interested, make sure to stick around. What's going on everyone? I hope you're all doing well. Happy New Year. Happy 2022. I hope that your year has started off great and that things are going well for you. So if you're new here to the channel, my name is Serge. Welcome. To all my reoccurring viewers, thank you so much for all the love and support that you have all been showing to me uh, through the last couple, three years of having this channel. I do greatly appreciate it. If you have not yet, make sure to go check out the God Made Podcast on all streaming platforms. Also, feel free to check out Legion Assisted Living Academy, where I teach you how to start your own residential assisted living from A to Z and what I've done to start my residential assisted living. So feel free to check that out in the link below. I also do mentorship calls for half an hour. Uh, feel free to check that schedule out down below if you want to schedule a call with me. And also check out valleyalfventures.com. I will link that down below for any investors who want to invest in this industry and be passive, or if you're an operator looking to actually lease properties that we have available, let us know, check out the website, submit a form, a questionnaire form to us, and we'll get back with you. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the topic of this video. What I want to talk about in this video is actually a couple things. So it being 2022 and a lot of people looking to make a change in their career or make a change into their business or looking to get into this industry, there's one thing that I would like to point out, and that is you need to be honest with yourself and be honest about what it is you want to do with this industry or what your involvement with this industry is going to be. For instance, there's a lot of people who aren't quite sure, but they, they see the possibilities of senior living, right? They see the possibilities and the growth that's happening within this industry with senior living, and they want to to be a part of it. They want to invest in it, but they really don't know. So I would question and ask yourself, what are your intentions? Are you looking to operate in one of these one of these businesses? Do you want to operate it, own it? Uh, do you want to be passive in it? What are you capable of doing? So when I have calls with a bunch of different people, I always pose that question first because at the end of the day, depending on what you decide to do, it's going to vary. So if you're looking to actually operate this business, you have to understand the sacrifice you're going to have to make as an operator owner, meaning there's going to be a lot of things that are you're going to have to learn when you start operating one of these, especially if you're really new. So when you take on a new operation, what does that operation look like? What does it consist of? Are you going to be taking the existing one or are you going to start from the ground up and how intensive that's going to be, not only with capital, but your time. So I think a lot of people have the misconception that they can just start something like this and it not take any kind of effort and that they're going to be very passive. Well, here's the thing that is possible that you'll be able to get in this industry and be passive. But to be on the operations side and actually own the operations, it's not going to be passive. And that's the hard truth about this entire industry. And I think a lot of people need to understand that when they're looking to get into this industry. Now, with that being said, if you're looking to get passive on this, there's a lot of opportunities. There's a lot of operators who are looking for uh, more capital. So you can come in as a private lender with them. You can uh, partner up with them, do some type of equity split within their operations and be passive that way. Or you can get in on the real estate side of it as well and be passive on that end where you can get involved with the syndication firm like what I have and just strictly stick to the real estate. But regardless, you could do even both if you really wanted to. You could be an equity partner in the operations. You could be a uh, equity partner on the real estate side. There's a lot of different opportunities as far as what being passive truly means and what type of investor you are. If you're the type of investor who wants to get in on the operations, now it's a matter of how do you build a team out, how do you get into the right deal, and you know really take advantage of what you're able to do. So for instance, I have a perfect example. I have somebody that I'm currently working with. Uh, they're an operator, they're looking to invest their money into the operations side, and they're looking to get in on the operations and own that business. Now here's the thing, because they're new and because they don't have any type of healthcare experience 
any type of caregiving experience, any type of management experience, for them, it's going to make sense to get take over an existing business because they have the capital available to do so. And not only do they take over an existing business, but have an existing business where the manager or the owner is willing to stay on on salary they're willing to sell the business and still stay on as an employee to be able to help not just with the transition but with everything else with the training for the new operator the operator is going to go and get their caregiver certificate they're going to get involved in working as a caregiver within their own business just to learn the ropes even though they have the staff already in place when they take over that now that is just one example of what it truly means to understand what you're getting yourselves into and what kind of investor you are. Now, a lot of people don't understand this. They think if they go into the business that if they already have a manager in place and everything, then they can just simply walk away from it or just be very passive. Once you truly learn the business inside and out, yes, at some point you can step away from it, but it's going to take Quite a bit of time to learn the ropes make sure that you understand that business inside and out because that is your business those that's your operation now for people who don't want to do all that and don't want to get involved in all that because it's just not for them and they're not able to due to a bunch of different circumstances that you may have then the passive makes more sense for you being passive on a lot of these different deals and a lot of different operations can make sense for you. But at the end of the day, you have to be honest with yourself. And so for 2022, for people who are looking to get in this industry, you have to be honest with yourself. How much capital do you have available? How serious are you about getting into this industry? If this is just something you wanna dabble in, get your feet wet, I would say go do something else. Go do some type of e-commerce, go do something that is not involving people's lives, right? You're having to take care of residents, you're having to be involved. And not only that, but what I'm also noticing is people think that this could be, it's a low barrier of entry, that it's not going to cost very much to get into this business. That's not the case. I know in a previous video I made probably about two years ago, I did say it would probably take about fifty to 60000 to get a five bed up and running from the ground up. Keep in mind, 50000 to 60000 is just the startup cost. You have to think and factor in what your burn rate's gonna be, what your runway is gonna be until you get to a point where you're actually able to turn a profit. Now, that is something else you have to factor in and that's something that I can make a whole another video about. But the point being is don't, you know, I get a lot of emails and I do appreciate all the love and support and all the emails and all the different people reaching out. Be honest, when you're reaching out to somebody who's already done it, who's doing it, and is continuing to grow like myself or other people within the industry and then you you know you waste their time by saying well I only have 20,000 to invest 20,000 is a lot of money but that can be utilized in other things that you can start but it's not enough to get started in this industry and you need a minimum of at least 50,000 minimum at least 50,000 $50,000 in a syndication firm that I have in one of our deals can get you a good rate of return. And that's something else that you can do with 50,000. Or you can go and start a five bed uh, operation if you truly wanted to, depending on where you do it and where you get the real estate and the operations at. But, you know, 50,000 is what I've seen the minimum. You know, if you got between 50,000 to 150,000, yes, if you're willing to get into this industry, that's something that's definitely doable. But at the end of the day, I just want to put this out because I think a lot of people have a misconception that you can just get in and it's a low barrier of entry and people aren't honest with themselves. And then I have to, you know, tell them and then, you know, them get upset or them get disappointed. But the, the, the reality is that it's not something that costs very little to get into. It's going to be capital intensive. You got to be honest with yourself and make sure that this is definitely something you want to do. Now, with that being said, feel free to reach out to me. My email is down below in the description. Again, I have my website, Valley ALF Ventures, with my partners. You guys can check that website out down below if you're looking to get in on the limited partner aspect of it with the real estate, or you're looking to start your own operations by being an operator and you have the sufficient funds to do so. Definitely reach out. We'll be willing to talk with you and 
be realistic. You know, people are trying to lease a property out for two, three thousand dollars. Be honest. At the end of the day, that's not what it's going to cost anymore. The rental market is absolutely insane right now, and especially when it comes to a business, the rental market is going to be, if not double, what the regular market is doing, just simply because it's commercial and it's a business. So, with that being said, you guys can check that out down below. Again, Happy New Year. I wish you all the best. And I will continue to put these videos out for you all. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. 